Georgia was the name of the mare I was on. She was this gorgeous chestnut mare. And we came like over, over a hill and my friends were really good at riding and they just like took off on their horses because they were really good at it. And I was like, I can do this. Like all you really have to do is hold on, right? She was an ex race horse. So she was real good at running and I was holding on for dear life. And then she just tripped. And I remember like, that's the one picture I actually have in my head. I remember her, like I remember the motion of like something's not right. And I kind of like went over her right shoulder and I remember kind of grabbing at her mane. Uh, I remember hitting the ground and that's it. I don't remember anything after that until my friends came running up. I thought it was okay until I went to stand up and then I passed out again. And uh, we realized something was super wrong with my ankle. My horse had run off. Thankfully she was okay. Like she didn't break her leg or anything like that, but they had to get a golf cart out to the middle of this field. Cause right now there's like some houses you can see in the distance. There was nothing like for miles and miles. And we had gone out away. So I was sitting in a field increasingly in pain. Cause after the shock of falling off a horse, I started realizing more and more like, man, something is really not okay with my little 13 year old ankle. The hospital actually turned me away. I don't think I've told you guys that before. They were like, we're, we're super full right now. And they sent me home. But by the time I got back home, my eyes were like completely bloodshot. I was in so much pain and my mom took me back to the, to the hospital. And uh, that's when they learned that my ankle was totally shattered. The end of it had like broken up and then shoved uh, an inch of my ankle bone up into my leg. It was a cool day for doctors because they'd never seen a break like that. But because of that break, I had to have a surgery and then another surgery and then another surgery and then they fused my ankle when I was 15. Now I'm, now I'm 28 and seven months ago, almost to the day, I had to have my leg chopped off because for 15 years nothing was ever right after that day. Like I, I think it could have been, but a series of unfortunate events made it so that whether it was a surgeon making a small mistake or whether my body just didn't want to heal right or whether the cartilage in my ankle just disappeared it never worked out and i was always in pain and so this last year if you follow my channel you know this i made the decision to go ahead and remove the problem as it were and actually cut my ankle off and uh, become an amputee to, to stop the pain this is where it's all happened and i haven't come back to this place since i probably could have but it's actually kind of a peaceful feel. I mean, it's a good place to have your life changed forever. You have to be somewhere. But it's definitely weird to be back here.